the nervous system is divided into central nervous system and peripheral nervous system central nervous system consists of brain and spinal cord peripheral nervous system consists of nerves brain is an important and delicate organ so it has to be protected well brain is covered by a fluid filled balloon like structure made up of three layers these layers are called meninges and the fluid present in between these layers is called cerebrospinal fluid these layers and the fluid they protect the brain from shocks and injuries brain along with the meninges is protected by an outer bony case called as cranium cranium is a hard structure that is made up of bone brain is the main coordinating center of our body it receives the information from all parts of the body and integrates it the main functions of our brain are thinking decision making storing information producing emotions and controlling body functions our body functions are of two types voluntary and involuntary the functions that are under our control are called voluntary functions writing talking dancing clapping these are the examples of voluntary functions controlled by our brain the actions that are not under our control are called involuntary actions digestion heartbeat sneezing are the some examples of involuntary actions controlled by human brain now let us see which part of the brain controls which functions the brain has three main parts namely the forebrain midbrain and hindbrain let us see about forebrain the thought process takes place in the forebrain forebrain has regions which receive sensory impulses from various receptors the forebrain has different centers for hearing smell sight etc the information from different sense organs is analyzed and compared with the information already stored in our brain based on this analysis the forebrain takes a decision and sends it to the area of the brain which controls the movements of our voluntary muscles for example if we are playing football our eyes sends the information about the position of the ball to the area of which analyzes it after analysis a decision is taken and the information is sent to the area of the brain which executes it it causes the necessary movements in our muscles and makes us kick the ball in right direction with right force the sensation of hunger and feeling full is also controlled by a separate area of forebrain next we see midbrain midbrain controls the visual and auditory reflexes it also has center for controlling the movements of our eye and eyelids hindbrain hindbrain has three parts namely pons medulla oblongata and cerebellum these parts control the involuntary functions of our body pons controls our sleep and wake cycle and breathing medulla controls heart rate breathing blood pressure and more involuntary functions next cerebellum it is responsible for precision of voluntary actions and maintaining posture and balance of the body walking in a straight line riding a bicycle drawing an art all these are possible because of cerebellum these are the different parts of the brain and their functions thanks for watching please like the video please share this video with your friends please subscribe to great booster channel press the bell icon to get all the latest updates check the description to find links of other useful videos check the end screens for our new videos